Hello friends, good evening. Uh, today we'll talk about the Forum Landmark program which I recently completed and I'll share my experiences with you. Uh, and this is a four point review program wherein uh, the structure would be as follows. Number one, first I will uh, I to detail what the basic program derives from. Second, I'll share my experiences uh, with the program. Third, my critical review and why I had I made this video, despite having uh, good and measurable positive outcome from the program. I was I felt compelled to make this video which is mostly a critical review and a critical outcome and uh, fourth the conclusion right that is the uh, this is the four parts of the video so I'll come directly to uh, the part one which is the forum landmark program the forum landmark program is marketed heavily and directly through word of mouth from the previous uh, participants and even current participants of the program. The program, the design of the program, I I feel uses concepts from basic concepts from psychology, like the subconscious mind, and which of course they have different jargon and different vernacular from this for the same concepts. Uh, the formation of personality and these it uses principles from the buddhist philosophy especially the theravid theravid theravidic buddhism and it uses tools from nlp this is my understanding of the forum okay uh, secondly my experiences were that uh, i had profound positive experience from the program in the time that was spent on the program. 70% of the time uh, that around 72 hours that I gave uh, full out, full throttle to this program, 100%, 60, 50, maybe it's 50, maybe it's 60, you have to see the recording of the online program to find out whether it is 60, but I feel almost 70% of the time and energy was spent on hard sales. So if you keep aside that time, 30% uh, in the 30% of the contact, I benefited from the program wherein I was released to, I was uh, able to release some traumas and find some good strategies to, uh, good strategies to accept people and things as they are. Yeah. Coming to the third part, which is the most important part, why I made this video is because of two of two things and maybe a some uh, couple notes. Of course, I feel disappointed that uh, a most a very valuable component of my valuable time for uh, which I've paid money was spent in listening to more advertisement and it was beyond my integrity to be asked to sell a product and vouch for it without having understood it or absorbed it completely. So during the course of the program already, we were asked to uh, recommend the program or share our experiences from the positive experiences from the program to our family and friends and then recruit, try to recruit them and make and sign, sign them from the course. This was before graduation from the program. Okay. But the main two aspects which are this service to mankind or to people to gullible and vulnerable students who sit there are a training or promoting impulsive action for example they give you homework which has to be done at night which includes uh, calling your people 
between 11 to 6. You know, the course, course had enough time to give breaks during the day to get these things done. So, you promote impulsive action in both registry, uh, recruitment, and then also for solving problems. Now, in short term, during emotional breakdowns or people who have approach anxiety, this, this strategy works. But in mid to long term, uh, it is very important to strategize, to plan, to separate your work in what is urgent, important, not urgent, important, the uh, F, what is his name? Eppenheimer matrix, right? Mat uh, Oppenheimer ma matrix. I don't remember his name, but that you, you know the matrix of task delegation, right? Because you cannot do everything now. You have to prioritize and that is uh, if you take impulsive action, there are consequences one needs to be aware of. So this is one thing that impulsive action is somehow promoted non-verbally but in practice. And if that works, people will start taking impulsive action. Second, which is important, is that Forum Landmark uses, in my humble opinion, all thought reform techniques. I have shared a link from Wikipedia what means thought reform. Please have a good look. Thought reform is similar to brainwashing. Yeah. So they have their own lingua franca. They, uh, I'll read some of, for the benefit of the listener, I'll just share what uh, some thought reform, I'll just uh, things are quickly later. Thought reform and the why is it not working? Wait, I'll just read it out for you, okay? Quickly. Uh, open. So this because they use thought reform, especially in a coaching teacher student environment, it is uh, it is it has behavior of a cult. So thought reform has milieu control. It involves con control of information and communication in the within the environment and within the individual right resulting in so i think it was more about the setup of this program which was online where people could not uh, see each other's body language or confront the coach if necessary then uh, demand for purity integrity was something confessions the world is view, uh, viewed as black and white and the members are constantly exhorted to conform to the ideology of the group and strive for perfection. The induction of guilt and or shame is a powerful control device used here. Confession, sins as defined by the group are to be confessed either to a personal monitor or publicly in group or to the person who you have committed that sin. There is no confidentiality. Members since attitudes and faults are discussed and exploited by the leaders. So this was uh, partially used. Sacred science. The group's doctrine and or ideology is considered to be the ultimate truth beyond all question and dispute. Truth is not to be found outside the group. So there was uh, some gentleman in our group who said that my parents would not be very open to registering. They are here to cheer me up. And... Uh, the response of our coach was they might be resigned and something. So, which was an opinion which he passed. Okay. The leader as a spokesperson, spokesperson for God or all humanity is likewise above criticism. Okay. Now, last not the least, you are exhorted to bring your family and friends into the course. And Unless you sign up the, for the course, there is tremendous persuasion that is being used. And this also, I think, promotes impulsive action. Hence, uh, there are many more transformative programs which you might not be aware of or the uh, course designers might not be aware of. But there are uh, works of Gautama the Buddha which you learn in Vipassana. There is work from Stanislav Grof. I think you should be, we should be open to exploring 
these works which uh, are sold less boisterously and are less boastful in nature thank you so much this was just for your information so i'll end this video now thank you have a good evening bye